Okay, let's. So we've got Dillashaw busted uh, for doping. Busted for doping. So, so you, if you don't know who he is, Dillashaw is about a 55 kilo, 60 kilo, 55 kilo. Uh, he's about 165 centimeters tall. He's, he's, a, he's a little dude fighting in the UFC, professional UFC fighter. And you can see here, you can I, I can tell he's on the gas. This guy here, um, Cody, he, he looks pretty natty. There's not much definition going on there. He looks, you know, he looks he looks pretty natty. He probably will be on some legal shit. Um, but we'll see here. So we can see that, you know, the banter between those guys is pretty real. I mean, even Dana White in that picture. Dana White's on gear as well. So uh, they retested his old uh, samples, test positive for EPOs, which is, for me, it's hilarious. It's hilarious that, you know, a UFC fighter would use EPO when these guys aren't even fit. These guys aren't even cardio fit. I mean, what are they running a 5K in? Maybe 20 minutes, 21 minutes, you know? Like, why use EPO? Just train more. I mean, it's like, it's like it's crazy. If you've got more cardio, just ride the bike and run more that you don't need to dope to, you know, for EPO. You don't need to use EPO for, for USA. It's just silly. If you want to get cardio, it's stupid. It's stupid using EPO for cardio when your cardio is so shit. You know what I mean? Like, there's no UFC fighter... There's not, not a single UFC fighter can keep up with me in a 5K. And I'm like almost 42. And I'm not a gun runner. You know, I'm, I'm running like 16.30 when, when I'm fit for 5K. Like, there's no UFC fighter running that fast. So for them to use EPO is stupid. These are some two two other athletes, UFC fighters, got busted for for hormones, etc. Uh, so fake natties. Everyone's doping at some level, UFC, it seems to be. You know, everyone's using some gear. So let's have a look at... um. So he's training with... Uh, you know, Sam Cavalita. Let's have a look at the diet here. So he credits it to, um, you know, he credits it to uh, his keto diet. That's that's why he's uh, getting the results. But it's actually, it's doping. We found out it's doping that's giving the results. So that's another fake natty. Let's go to Dillashaw. Um, drastic weight cut. So again, he'd just be doping. If you use an EPO, if, if, here's the thing. If you're using EPO for cardio, when you, you know, you don't even need to. Then you're going to be using a lot of other shit that you don't even need to use, potentially. Let's have a look at Joe Rogan. Let's listen to this interview. Listen how dumb these guys are, man. Listen how dumb these guys are. Listen to this. I'm high, high fat, high protein diet, you know, um, low to no carb, obviously different kinds of carbs. I, I have to have carb. Low to no carb. Obviously, I have to have, like, what the, like, what? It's not saying I don't use EPO. Obviously, I have to use EPO. Oh, I don't use steroids. Obviously, I have to use steroids. Like, these guys, are, oh my God. These guys got no fucking idea. They're using EPO to get cardio for a fight. <laughs> no idea how to train. No idea how to train for cardio. But just mm -hmm. uh, like I won't be ketogenic, but I'll get my body right. into ketosis certain times throughout my camp. Right. I won't be ketogenic, but I'll get my body into ketosis. Um, bro, it's the same thing. Right. To make me insulin like um, sensitivity high, right? Um, these guys don't. These guys don't know the fucking talking about. Do they? They got no idea. They're just parroting shit from some dumb trainer who's pumping full of steroids. That, the steroids and EPO is what's getting them a bit of results there. It ain't the fucking fad diet. He looks at the ground as well. He's looking at the ground now. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's got no confidence. This dude's got massive confidence in the ring, but when it comes to that diet and nutrition training, he's got no confidence. He's looking at the ground. He's stalling. He's hesitating. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Let's listen more. I'll try not to interrupt. So I'll eat like simple carbs that break down faster. You know, they've found that people, even on this carnivore diet, which a lot of people are doing now, just like I gotta say, Joe Rogan, man, dude's on steroids, looks like shit. Look at his posture, he's just like, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, if you're on steroids, at least look good. Joe, let me get on the podcast, bro. I'll give you some nutrition tips. Get you looking in shape. They still reach ketosis. Mm -hmm. They still reach ketosis because they're not taking in any grain, they're not taking in any carbohydrates. And even though your body converts protein through glucogenesis, it converts it into sugars, into glucose. Um, it's it, it's doing it in a very efficient way and processing in a way that a lot of these people are in ketosis all the day, mm -hmm. most of the time. Just not not the same like high levels. Uh, it's gluconeogenesis and it's not efficient. Joe, it's not ketosis isn't efficient, bro. <laughs> Try and perform when you're in ketosis. Fuck these these fucking podcast nutrition experts. If you were going like a regular ketogenic diet, I think it's supposed to be seventy percent fat. Something crazy or 60 something percent. He talks so slow. For the amount of drugs and uppers he takes, he's a quite a slow sort of talker. And fat and then the rest protein. Yeah. Wow. 
Did you tell Jordan Peterson that? Isn't he eating all meat? Yeah, he's eating all meat. I don't. I think, and I had his daughter on recently as well, and it's very controversial. There's a bit of waffling on there. They have allergic reactions to all kinds of different foods. And I think it's really, really rare. Mm -hmm. I think for most people like you or I, mm -hmm. you're really better off eating rich, dark, green, mm -hmm. leafy vegetables yep. and, and nuts and, and fish and chicken and wild game. And, uh, you know, I think... So chicken's good to eat, but it's domesticated as fuck. But let's, let's hear the emphasis on wild game. What should we eat? Wild fish, wild game. Like, but chicken. Chicken's okay, but it's full domesticated come out of the factory, but then talks about wild game being good. Listen, the contradictions is hilarious. I think if you get some wild turkey or some, you know, wild pheasants and just, you should eat. Eat chicken and then sauce wild pheasant. It's like, <laughs> it's like saying, you know, eat organic fruit and then eat sprayed stuff as well. Like it, you know, it, it doesn't. Really good, lean, healthy, real yeah. food. Mm -hmm. And he's saying lean, eat lean food, but then he's saying fat's good. It's like, what? What? These guys contradict what they say every sentence. It's hilarious. I think most people can you. eat apples and oranges and watermelon, and there's no problem. But I think there are a few people. Well, when, when is apples, oranges, and watermelon ever a fucking problem, man? When is that ever a problem? Joe Rogan, no one's getting obese from eating watermelon, apples, and oranges, bro. Anyway, let's get back to Dylan Shaw. Joe Rogan is another separate entity there of nutrition misinformation. Man, if I took as much steroids as Joe Rogan, at least I'd have some results for it. Anyway, um, shade thrown. Dylan Shaw busted for EPO. So what other drugs would he be taking? Um, hmm, he's 57 kilos, so he's, he's not that heavy. So I'm not sure what else he'd be taking. Probably definitely some stims. Um, I'd say maybe a little bit low, you know, low, low strength anabolics uh, he would probably be taking. Um, why not? If you take an EPO... Why wouldn't you take other stuff to make you punch harder? So I'd say he'd be on you know, quite low dosage anabolics just for the, you know, if you're just doing a lot of training for a bit of recovery, enhanced glycogen retention, etc., healing from injuries. Um, so yeah, that would say, uh, but he's not taking a lot. He's not getting a much roid skin going on there. He's he's very, very small. He's, his wife's arm's about the same size as his. So I'd say if he's taking anything anabolic, it'd be very, very small dosages and uh, nothing there because you gain body weight and his body physique looks, you know, he's quite small. But again, if you look, if you compare him to uh, these other dopers, um, you know, or the other guy, what's his name? Uh, yeah, this guy here. So, you know, there's both got to be a vibe going on. But look at how, look how inflamed down to white looks. He's looking like a tomato ready to pop. Yeah, so that's my comments and criticisms. Who the fuck is training these UFC fighters? Why the fuck is a UFC fighter who's running 22 or 25 minutes for a 5K using EPO? That's just like, what the fuck? That's just hilarious, man. That is, that is truly, that's like me using EPO. Um, just go, and, just train more. Just train more, you know. You only want to use EPO if you're like, maybe running, you know, sub 15 minutes for 5K. And you want to go under 14s, under 13s, then yeah. But if you're running, you know, 20, 23 minutes for a 5K using EPO, it's like, fuck, it's, it's, it's like if you're doing, you know, uh, four watts per kilo or five watts per kilo for an hour and using EPO, it's, what's, what's the point? You know, get to six watts per kilo and then go up from that. You know, get as far as you can, Natty, and then go on that train if you're going to. Otherwise, you're just wasting drugs and going to get caught out potentially. But just goes to show... You know, he didn't get busted EPO the first few tests. So it looks like the USC is not testing very much at all. These other things. Let's look at Conor McGregor quickly. Um, Conor McGregor talking about another, these guys getting busted for steroids. I wouldn't say, I'd say Conor McGregor is uh, also, you know, a bit of a fake natty there as well. So I'd, I would, I'd definitely say Conor McGregor, he ain't, uh, he ain't natty either. But these guys, you know, it's just how it is, man. It's business. People want to get results. People want to get results. That's some comments, criticisms there. TJ Dillashaw, the keto athlete who eats carbohydrates, who claimed it was his diet. We find out it was just the drugs. And uh, even then, his cardio is incredibly poor. And 42-year-old Duran Rider would kick his ass any day of the week in any workout. Anyway, that's comments, criticisms. Thanks for sharing. Carb the fuck up. Say no to EPO. Only use it if you're going to win the Tour de France. Fighters don't need EPO. That's just... Just get some decent cardio. Stop being lazy, cunt.